Uh, wait. Uh, what? What's going on? What's going on? <laughs> yeah, they have a table that's getting forked, right? Um, looks like they should have. Okay, he knows. He knows about the game. He knows about the game. He knows about it. I don't know if he's going to join or not. He sees it. Oh, Rainer's here. Let's go. Rainier, come join us. Come join us. Yo, let's go. Let's freaking go. cards are too small they're too small why are my cards so small oh my god dude i have to adjust all the sizes the sizes are all messed up all right, we're just gonna do this for now i think um and then we're gonna put my hand i guess here is fine i guess here is fine for now the the size is all gonna be scuffed i will i will figure it out uh let's maybe i'll post something in there i don't know Maybe I'll post something, maybe not. What do we got? What do we got? <laughs> Very so they say I'm a Twitch really quick. Uh-huh. Um, what do I like here? Let's see. We have Plowmaker's like always good. It's so boring though. Stonecutter, it's like between Stonecutter and Plowmaker, everything else in this pack kinda sucks. I'm very tempted by Stonecutter Half Timbered House. Stonecutter Half Timbered House is like not terrible. Um, it's kind of annoying. Like it's kind of an annoying thing. It's not the best. Yeah, it, it's just not the best. Everything else here doesn't really interest me besides Plowmaker Stonecutter. Uh, I'm very tempted by like stone cutter, stone improvement. Half Timbered House is just not that good. I'm, I'm just not like the biggest fan of Half Timbered House. I wish I had something better to do with stone cutter. Stone cutter sheep well is actually fine. I'm actually pretty fine with stone cutter sheep well here. Steve, sheep well is like pretty good on its own on rate. Like two, two stone for two bonus points is pretty good. Having a way to concert, convert stone into bonus points of the miner is not bad. Additionally, having um, a little bit of extra uh, health from the stone cutter makes it one stone for two points, which is pretty good. I'm pretty in on this. Um, what am I wheeling from this pack? I'm hoping to wheel milk jug. Milk jug's very, very solid. If not milk jug, like, you know, stone clearing's gonna be fine. I don't know. This is fine. Hello there. This is fine. Oh, someone followed me. Thank you for the follow. I need to get my stream labs up. Sample, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Hope you're doing well. We get all the perspectives today. Three of us are streaming this game, so uh, we get all the different perspectives of gameplay. As always, if you're watching from a different perspective, don't uh, <laughs> tell me what other people are doing. We got to keep all the information private here. But I'm very happy. Yeah, Agricola content's great. Yeah, I um, I just started a YouTube channel for my uh, Agricola stuff. I have a YouTube channel for like all my other stuff, and I was like, okay, Agricola's a little bit too different. Like, I might as well put it on a different place. So yeah, if you have any questions, oh, I should put this in the title that uh ask me questions ask questions about cards if you have them i'm f i'm happy answering questions about cards or like zooming in or things like that like if you want if you want me to see what cards do that's not what i meant to do i meant to do this um but yeah if you have questions about cards i can like hover over them zoom in things like that uh although i'm gonna be in super focus mode this game okay this pack sucks this pack is legitimately bad uh, well, we get domestication expert sheep wall combos. <laughs> uh, clay, clay plaster is not that bad. 
But yeah, domestication expert, we are going last. That's something else that we have to keep in mind is that we're going last here. Going last is definitely a big bummer. Uh, going last makes this pack very painful. It makes this pack really, really painful. Yuck, dude, this pack's awful. I mean, domestication expert is the best thing, I think, with Sheepwell. Clay plaster is, like, not terrible, but, like, it, I, let me... Okay, when I have bad packs like this, one thing that I like to evaluate is, like, is there anything that I can pick such that when I wheel something, I might be able to do something good? Sea Trader is really bad, I think. I think it's just not good. Market Crier Homebrewer is, like, kind of cute. I just don't think it's what I want to be doing. I don't think it's good. Market Crier injects so many points into the game. I think I'm in on domestication expert. Uh, I think this is what I gotta be doing. I think it's a good thing to do a sheep well. Let's me take some sheep early, which is fine. Given that I'm doing this, I don't know what the other card is though. Maybe just shifting cultivation is fine. It's not great, it's not really where I wanna be, but it's fine. Play Embankment's fine, Young Animal Market's like, okay. We'll take shifting cultivation. It's not terrible. We're definitely not storks nesting. We want things with stone. Oh, so immediately punished. God, we got so punished. Uh, we got absolutely punished. Oh, uh, so punished for not picking that. That's so annoying. Um, Bricklayer is still good. I still like Bricklayer. I might pick it. Scholar is very not good when you have nothing to do with your improvements. Although I might, I might be able to pick Scholar here. This is gearing up to look like a game where people are going to be building lots of, like, I don't know, people are going to be doing lots of really basic stuff. If someone's going on like big house strategy, Scholar gets a lot better. Um, and Scholar with Stonecutter is quite nice too. It allows me to like Reno and not have to worry about things too much. I might. This turn west plow is. Interesting. What an interesting pack. Uh, this is very lame. There's nothing to do with Scholar. There's gonna be no payoffs for it. But this Bricklayer sucks too. Uh, I think I want a Cooking Heart at some point. Very annoying. Very, very annoying pack. Maybe my miners will be good enough to play. What do I wheel from this pack? Strathatcher, Flail. It's not going to be good enough for Scholar, I don't think. Yeah, we'll just do this. Um, what am I picking from this pack? Do I want the Plow or the Chicken Coop? With Bricklayer, it makes Chicken Coop a little bit better. I need something to play on turn one. I guess I'm going to Shifting Cultivation on turn one. We'll, we'll just take a Chicken I don't think Chicken Coop's going to be that bad. Yeah, it's not gonna be that bad. With Bricklayer, it gets a lot better. I'm being a little slow. I'm gonna need to pick up the pace a little bit. No, dude, my Papermaker combo! No! Everything's bad. Everything went wrong. Everything went wrong this draft. I made all the wrong decisions. I'm so upset. I made every wrong decision, and I'm upset about it. Maybe the Scholar will just wheel. Wouldn't that be magical if Scholar could wheel? There's no chance Scholar will wheel, but maybe it will. Oh, that's gross. Uh, we could take Seed Cellar and just Threshing Board and, and try and do that. So bad. We can't Veggie Strats. This market all sucks. We're, we have to take this in our what? Given that we're taking this. Um, oh, good Seed Cellar. We got punished really hard for not taking the Scholar. We got punished for not taking the other thing. So everything sucks. Um, none of our Ox really go well together. I mean, we have Stonecutter Bricklayer. That's kind of cute. <laughs> we could build ovens for really cheap. All right, we can build ovens for cheap. I'm in on this. We're, we're on the cheap oven gang. Cheap oven gang is a good gang to be on, I guess. Be on. <laughs> cheap, cheap oven gang. Ooh. Cheap ovens. We love our, our cheap ovens. So cool. No, dude, we got so punished. I got so punished for not picking that stupid clay plaster. I do really like Domestication Expert. I think Domestication Expert goes well as cheap well, but I got, I got punished there really hard. I pun the worst part is I punished myself. I didn't even, I, I, I mean, I don't know what I would have done instead, but um, Mushroom Collector's interesting. Pig Breeder's interesting. I go to Stone Clearing, it's not good. Uh, Scullery is interesting, actually. It's very, very interesting with Bricklayer. Scullery, Bricklayer, I'm tempted by. Uh, 
very tempted by Scullery Bricklayer. I have too many early ox, so we're going to take Pick Breeder here. I think Scullery Bricklayer is not going to be bad. It's pretty decent. Yeah, let's do that. I think that's pretty doable. These two are fine. I, I'm not a big fan of stone clearing. I'd rather just do this. The problem is that, like, in this game, reed stone food's going to be really hard to come by. We got kind of effed on the stone ox. Like, there's not a lot of good stone ox here, which is really... What? Oh, my God! Chat, we lived the dream. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, Harry Potts actually goes bricklayer. Oh, my gosh. I did not expect that. So people really took freaking all the terrible grain stuff. I mean, I guess that means there's a freaking field watchman in this draft. That's the only way this makes any sense is if there's a field watchman in this draft. Please let there be... This is the only time I'm actually happy if there's a field watchman because I need to plow so bad with this threshing board. I'm like actually okay if there's a field watchman there. That is nuts at this wield. That's actually insane. Wow, dude. All right, well, we, we have a game. Unfortunately, that makes a scullery. What? Scholar wheel too? No way. Are you serious? Oh, no, dude. We got so punished. I am sad now. I'm sad about everything. We could have had the dream. But although scholar wheeling is like, yeah, okay. Oh, we called it. We called it. We called it. Did I not call it? I think we called it. We actually called it. We called it. We knew what was happening the second we wheeled it. I will take it, though. We just want a million read this game. We want a million read. I can wait as long as possible to Reno. We're never playing the Scholar, unfortunately, but that's okay. Scholar might be playable this game. It might actually be playable. Um, if I if I round a stone in like round like n like ten or eleven, and I can play like three improvements or ox with this, it's gonna be not that bad. Bricklayer is gonna be huge on turn one though. If we can Bricklayer, then we have an improvement to play. We can play a Herring. Herring Pot on turn one is really good. Herring Pot on turn one is really not bad at all. Taking a fishing action like on the second turn or whatever is totally, totally acceptable. It's totally fine. So yeah, Bricklayer is gonna be huge here. It's gonna be absolutely huge. We are we are not gonna to rush to build it all. We're just gonna chill. We are just gonna chill. Oh, I should uh, adjust the, my hand, I, I sorry. I need to make it so my hand is, uh, we'll put it under the board here like this. And then we're gonna decrease the size of the cards a little bit to make it a little smaller. And then we will do this. Maybe something like this is good, yeah. I think this looks okay to me. This looks okay. I'm okay with this. We got a nice little chat in the corner. I think I'm zoomed out one too many spots. I think that's what's going on. Woo, we did it. Give me my herring pod. What am I taking here? I think I'm taking Reedstone food with this starting player. Yeah, I think we're taking Reedstone food here. If I wheel the like clay pla planner or whatever, it's fine, but we just need Reedstone food too bad. Reedstone food's too important here for us. We need we need so much reedstone food. All all the stones good for us. All the reeds good for us. Like everything's just good for us here. Yeah, herring pot for free is very good. Various weather with all the grain strats. Yep, all the grain stuff's happening. Makes me want to block a grain. Honestly, I'm I'm considering it. I'm definitely considering it. Which action do I get on the wheel? If I get an awk on the wheel, it's actually not terrible either. We can just like stone cutter. I'm pretty fine with that if we have to stone cutter here. Rainier's gonna take two stone, two wood, or two reed, sorry. Yeah, the scullery's gonna look very bad, unfortunately. I can't believe this clay planter wield or plaster. I cannot believe this card wield, that's so nuts. There's that. Um, we have to play an Auk here. We're obligated to do that. It's a little bit too good, unfortunately. So we're gonna play an Auk. Uh, yeah, urgent wish for children. Yeah, urgently wishing for children is definitely um, it's interesting. I think I'm gonna play Stonecutter here. I could play Stonecutter. I could play Clay Plaster. Don't wanna play Domestication Expert. We're not doing that this game. I gotta think about this. Uh. Do I want to play any more Ox? I want to play the Stone Cutter. The Stone Cutter is still going to be quite good. The problem is that I may not be able to build before like round five or six or something like that. Like people are going to be rushing to build this game. Although, well, all various weather is just actually crushing this game. There's going to be a lot of reed floating around. Not a lot of wood. 
I think we're gonna take advantage of that fact. I'm gonna play a clay plaster now. We're gonna play the stone cutter later on if we get a chance to, but I'm not gonna gonna we're not gonna just try and smash it. We're for sure playing this. This is always getting played no matter what. It's always getting played. Um, the thing is that we we don't necessarily need to play the stone cutter, and so we want to be able to play things by ear a little bit, because it's possible we just don't play it this game. Because um, various weather and Rainier and Lumen are all going to take wood very aggressively. My goal is to stay away from that game a little bit. Like, like my goal is to stay away from that a little bit. Like various weather gets a little bit of the wood pressure alleviated, but like I just want to stay away from that a, as much as possible. Um, I'm going to have to fish with my first action next round because fishing is just a little bit too insane, um, which is unfortunate for me that I have to fish with my first action next round, but it is what it is. I'm not going to be too too unhappy about it at the end of the day. It's so much food. It's so good. I just have to do it. Um, wow, not starting. Okay, I'm fine with this. I have to fish with my first action, I'm pretty sure. I just gotta do it. It's too much. It's too important for me. I would like to read stone food instead. Is read stone food better? Do I care about it? No, I'd rather just fish. Like, Rainier needs food. I'd rather just do it in my first action. I I'm just gonna not mess around with it. It's so good. It's so outrageously good. Six, six food is, like, way too good, and, like, if someone else blocks it, puts me in a really bad spot. I'd rather just take it. It's the one thing that I have going for me right now. I'm not gonna mess around with it. Like, I obviously, I would like Reedstone food, but I think there's so much read in this game that that's not gonna be an issue. Because various weather, I know all the cards in his hand. He's gonna go green into X action. Probably a food action, so probably he's taking three food here. So it's gonna go three food, grain. Uh, so start player into a, uh, what is it called? Thing, 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 thing that makes things not cost read. And then from there, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be a thing. Try not to open my Discord in case people are talking about it. Uh, yeah, we it was an accident. Well, I said, oh, hey, I want to play a game with uh, all of us. I was like, hey, I want, or I, I was like, hey, I want to play a CD game. So I was like, oh yeah, I want to play a CD game. And then Lumen was like, oh yeah, we should play a CD game together. Okay, this actually makes sense too. This makes complete sense. Um, I was like, oh yeah, I want to play a CD game. And then Lumen was like, oh yeah, we should play a game together. And so then I was like, oh yeah, that sounds good. And then Rainier was happened to stream at the same time and he was playing game with various weather. So I was like, oh yeah, this makes perfect sense. Let's all stream, like, you know, and then so I was like, let's play together. A CD, so CD is the new deck of cards. So there, the deck of cards is, uh, so there was a new deck of cards just got added into beta. So uh, Rainier and Lumen are unleashed from there. They, they weren't streaming it when it was in alpha, but now that it's out of alpha, it's in beta, they're they're streaming it more, which is cool. Um, taking the, the clay here, that's fine. I'm tempted to take three clay here, honestly. I'm very tempted by that. I'm shocked that more wood didn't get taken here. I'm very shocked about that. I'm a little bit schlocked about it. Um, I can't take an Auk here. I wish I could take an Auk here. I wish there was a one food Auk. Yeah, we're streaming at the same time, which is fun. I made three clay. Is three clay good? Reno. It's so many rooms. Yeah, it, it's so many rooms for me. I, I think I just take it. We're not going to plan on building any improvements with it, but I think taking it's fine. There's going to be huge wood stacks next turn. I want to snag a big wood stack next turn when people are worried about like feeding or, or doing other things. Like I don't, I don't really care about that. I'd rather just take the clay now and I don't have to worry about it. Now's a perfectly fine time to take it. I don't want various weather taking it. Various weather taking clay would be very annoying and it's something that's very likely to happen. So we're just going to take clay here and be fine. <coughs> We're just gonna delayed build. This is a game where delayed building is totally fine. But yeah, we're all streaming at the same time. Yeah, so it's which is nice. This is a weird uh, way to build it. Why are we Why are we building our fields this way? I don't understand. What's What's the What's the 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 Tetris arrangement about? Oi mate, what's that about? Oi matey. I'm shocked this this thing wheeled. It's actually insane. Absolutely nuts. I do want the stone cutter at some point. The stone cutter would be quite nice. Would be quite nice to get the stone cutter, but I'm not. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Lumen and Rainier are just no ox. So they, their draft had to have sucked. Their draft had to have been very bad if they're not playing ox here, um, which makes sense. There's a field watch in the draft. There's a million grain ox, and then I got lucky enough to get the bricklayer combo with the uh, clay plaster. So like that was very fortunate. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's like it's not <laughs> not too much going on. 
I'm curious as to how the next couple of rounds how they play. I, we really want Reno to flip as soon as humanly possible. We want a lot of read, and then we want Reno to flip as soon as possible. All right, all the clay in the game, no wood. Yeah, the star player is good. I mean, Lumen probably gets a million wood here, honestly. Like, there, it, I mean, Rainier can take three wood. It's just not very good. Rainier not with the Childless. I'm a little surprised about that. I thought they had it. I mean, it makes sense. Childless is a very strong card. Like, they would have had to first pick it. But, I mean, their pack is weak. Yeah, they got to take three food here. They're just going to let the wood stacks pile up. That seems totally reasonable. Um, that means that we're all going to get a lot of wood here, um, which is nice. I like getting a lot of wood. Getting a lot of wood is really cool. I'm very in on it. Yeah, six wood. It's gonna go like six wood, four wood, four wood, or six wood build, four wood, something like that. Four wood. I will happily take my four wood stack because we're just gonna we're just gonna pile up resources here. Yeah, I mean this seems fine. It's not not really a, a better move for me to do. Four wood's just like too insane at this point. I got I gotta take advantage. Like one one part about this game is that I have to take advantage of having um like I, I have a strategy where I I need to wait for Rando to flip in order to be able to do anything. So uh, we gotta use our time wisely and take lots of resources. I am gonna be in very good shape on food. Um, this herring pot being quite quite nice and letting me letting me get a lot of food early on is just like so helpful. The, the the combo of, of Herring Pot with Bricklayer, just like anything with Bricklayer, like any card with Bricklayer that has a one clay cost is just so, so massive. It's so huge. It's so incredibly good. Who knows what various weather's gonna do? Read Stone Food so. Why? I don't understand. Makes no sense to me. This makes no sense to me. I mean, I'm gonna take two read on the wheel. There's no way two read gets taken. No chance. There's no chance that, that I, I mean, Rainier could take two read, I guess. It'd be kind of annoying, but I mean, I guess I could just awk if that happens to play a stone cutter and then do stone things. That'd be fine. I'm fine with that. Yeah, th this is fine. I mean, I, my build was delayed anyways. Like it's not a huge deal. Like he's gonna play this this thing and get that going. Um, I'm just gonna play the stone cutter. We're just gonna get this in play now. Now nah, we'll do stone cutter things. It's, it's that time of the day. If I can here, I want to take Reedstone food into um, Reno. I want to take Reedstone food and build the well here. That's the next thing that's on my mind. Um, I, I, I think the next round, Reedstone food should be fairly well protected. Everything should be good. Um, and Various Weather is just going to set up to get this thing in. Various Weather and I both have pretty delayed builds here. So, I mean, if Family Grow flips early, then probably I'm in trouble. But if it doesn't flip early, if we get a Reno flipping early, then everything's going to be okay. So hopefully that's the case. Hopefully that's what happens. Once again, I'm going to take fishing pretty aggressively here. I probably have to take it at three food again, um, because that's my main feeding avenue for right now until something better happens. I think um, herring pot, this is going to be the best herring pot I've had in a long time. Unfortunately, this chicken coop's probably never getting played, which is a bummer. Um, threshing board might be good, though. I'm pretty in on that. Yeah, we might be able to threshing board here. That's very bad for me. That's really bad for me. <laughs> we got we got absolutely crushed by this family growth flipping. That's very bad. Uh, various weather's going to beat me to growth here. I mean, maybe it'll be okay. Maybe I can just take a million read here and double build, but it's really bad for me. Oh, it's so bad, dude. Yeah, that that's probably gonna be that's gonna be a rough one to come back from the only nice thing about this is that it's gonna cut the food in the game very dramatically so all right lumen what's the other action you want what other action do you want it's the real question could be read stun food to just totally blow me out Ock, free Ock, okay patron okay this is a late patron but honestly late patron's not that bad late patron's very nice like uh, if you're not planning on playing Ox early, Patron's still so good. It's so, so good. We've got our stuff going on. We might play the Seed Seller at some point. The Seed Seller's good. What? We got Ock Ock? What's happening? Why are we Ock Ocking? God, you can't take the three wood away from the guy who's about to blow us all out. That's so sad. Alexa, play Despacito. This is so sad. Hello, Play Curricula. How are you? How's it going? How, how's your how have your streaming games been going? I haven't been. I, I checked in on it a little bit. I, I I come along here and there. I guess we had that talk about uh about the similarity between Agricola play mechanics and Magic cards, of which Agricola is um 
I don't know. It, it's probably an inferior game in a lot of ways to to Magic, but like I still like playing Rick Lemoore. Um, this is brutal, by the way. We're we're gonna get completely blown out by this. <laughs> this furniture is actually completely insane here. This is a completely nuts furniture. Uh, Reedstone food is uh, obligatory. Yeah, we got the triple stream going on. We got three perspectives, so you got you get all the perspectives. What? We're taking clay here. What the heck? You don't know how tempted I am to build this clay oven, by the way. I am so stupidly tempted to build the clay oven. The only thing that's holding me back from building the clay oven here uh, is that I need to not... I mean, I want the clay oven so bad. It's, like, so good for me. It's not that good, though, honestly. It's not that good. Um, I definitely want to build the well. I need to do a lot of weird stuff here. I gotta do a lot of weird stuff. I gotta go like well into Reno joinery. How much wood is there in this game? God, not building this turn. What a maniac move. Uh, three wood. Not building here is very interesting. We're just building next turn. Can I starting player stables? <laughs> Can I starting player stables and just torch everyone's game? Can I do that? I wish I could do that. I can't do that, unfortunately. I wish I could do that. I wish I could just torch every person's game, but I can't do that. Uh, There's the only spot where I want the well. Well, Reno. Yeah, I want the well here too bad. What does the food situation look like? Rainier's food sucks. Lumen's food's fine because he has a fireplace. Various weather suit's gonna be fine because he's gonna have an oven. Oh, this oven's so bad. Various weather's never ever building. I'm so sad about it. That, 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 that. Alright, we'll just do this now. Inefficient, but we gotta do it now. It feeds us for eternity, so we gotta do it. We gotta do it. It might be a mistake to do it now, but we gotta do it. It feeds us for so long. It means I don't have to fishing if I don't really want to. I can just focus on taking these read actions to Reno. My next action is gonna be like read stone food into something. Yep, this is gonna be a uh, straw thatched roof because I saw that floating around the draft. It sh and it should be a straw thatched roof into wood build. I don't know. I mean, I'm never building this game. It's never happening. We're, we're just building the latest of all time. But that's okay. We have fairly good stuff going on. We have a lot of points. We have a lot of incremental food coming in. This is exactly where you want to be when you're not, like, doing grow stuff early on, is that you're sort of building an infrastructure for yourself. We definitely have the infrastructure here, so that's good. Um, oh, Catchy Slim. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. All right, Reno flipped. That's good for us. Thank goodness. All right, we can go read stone food into Reno here. I don't know what I'm running. I may actually just build a freaking... Um... I don't know. What do I want to build? I probably should have built Clay Oven, actually. I should have... Yeah, I, I messed up. I should have built Clay Oven last turn. I should have done that. That would have been the smart move. Because the thing about building Clay Oven last turn is that it only cost me two clay to do that. And my Reno only cost me one reed. So, like, I could have built Clay Oven, still had enough clay for a room, and then also uh, done something else. Whereas, like, here, we're going to be in a little bit of an awkward space where uh, I... Oh, that's interesting. Maybe I'm building Clay Oven anyways, then. That's very... Th I, this is so bad. What is happening? What is... What are you doing? You had the game! You had the game in your hand and you threw it away! Why are you doing? Why not? Why not just build? Just build the... Just get the bigger two resources build the room before one sitting right there. Just do it. The game's all yours. We gave you everything. We gave you all the Field Watchman cards and now you're gonna feed with a harpooner? Oh, it hurts so bad. Oh, it hurts. Yes, thank goodness. Thank you. Put some pressure on the rooms. Jeez, Louise. Please put some room pressure on. Uh, I may reno oven here. I may have to reno oven. Is that sad that I have to reno oven here? Reno oven feeds me later because of the seed seller. It feeds me later because of the seed seller. It's so sad. It's actually incredibly sad that I have to reno here. Reno oven. If readstone food gets taken, especially we have to reno oven. So our goal here is to go readstone food, reno oven. 
Ooh, I may have to Renault oven first, though. Uh, is various weather ever taking an oven? No. Oh, uh, maybe. Yeah, it's probably supposed to. If I don't reno oven, what am I doing instead? I guess reno pottery is still fine for me, right? Reno pottery is still fine. But lumen's also no, no. But lumen can't do that. Lumen cannot. Lumen can cannot reno pottery. Oh, I forgot Rainier has his BS too. All right, Rainier, you got your BS. Go for it. Yep, you got your your stuff. All right, cool. Good talk. I want to fish at some point, but I can't do it. It's just not feasible. Various weather has to start here if various weather wants to uh, wants to build a room next turn, which is cool, and I like that. If I get to build next turn, it's gonna be heavy pog. If Lumen builds next turn, it's gonna be. I mean, the problem is that like Rainier and Lumen are gonna run out of food because I I actually th I think if I Reno here and take the clay oven, this screws over various weather, and it causes a cascade effect for which various weather gets gets totally boned. So then as a result, the problem is I need to read some food too bad. Ah, oh, the problem is I need the, the the thing is that if the food gets boned in this game, if I bone the food, then how does various well various weather can just eat a grain though. Various weather can just eat a grain. It doesn't completely bone the food because various weather can just literally eat raw grain until the end of time and that's like that's whatever got rainier's miners must be bad if rainier's playing a flail here yep if this is fireplace flail this is not ideal at all this is completely non-ideal for this for this furniture is not that good if you're going oh the fuck the, the three clay cooking hearth Whoa, dude. Dude, imagine getting a wood discount on it when you could get a one clay discount by just building two rooms. What a chad. That is some heavy chad energy. I will take this readstone food because I would like to reno this round and I would like to be able to build a room next turn. If this doesn't work, by the way, I'm going to be tilted out of my mind. <laughs> why, why discount wood when you could discount clay? <laughs> why why discount wood when you can discount clay the real questions that's the real question that i i'm asking why do it <laughs> yeah exactly one improvement actually equals one clay it, it is hilarious how bad the i mean rainier needs the food really bad rainier's food's kind of scuffed right now Imagine having scuff food. My food's so good. I want to take this fishing. Next turn, I'll take this fishing if it gets to me. Like, but it's not a priority. Like, my food's so good right here. My food is so insane. Oh my god, dude! Various weather is so greedy. Oh my god, dude! He's so greedy. Oh, I want to punish him for the greeds. I want to punish this so bad. What is Lumen gonna do? What the heck is Lumen doing? Is Lumen going starting player wood? Lumen could go starting player wood here. Luna could also Reno, which would be hilarious, but I don't think that's happening. Reno, Reno joinery would be hilarious. That would screw me really bad, but that's not happening here. So that's good. Always greed. This is very greedy. This is a double build greed. This is really, really greedy, especially because I'm going to be able to build next turn. Um, unless the game bugs out on me, in which case I won't be able to build next turn, and that would be very sad. All right, you're going to take the sheep. That makes sense. Okay, good. Then I get my build in peace. No, maybe I don't. Ah, maybe I don't get my build in peace next turn. Uh, because frickin' Lumen can build next turn. Lumen can take the two wooden build. Do I care if that happens? Do I care if that happens? Oh, uh, I want this oven really bad. Do I take the oven or do I take the um, <sighs> oven or pottery here? I have to run it with this action, otherwise I have zero chance of building next turn, so I must do that. Um, I just don't know what I'm doing with my other action here, so I'm going to reno. We're going to build something. Do I build clay oven? Do I build pottery? I'm very tempted by this clay oven. I have the seed cellar and this threshing board, which makes clay oven quite good. It means that when I start plowing, I can get food for it. Um, but the pottery is quite nice too, because it gives me more food immediately. Do I need more food immediately? Not really. I gotta think about this for a sec. I gotta think, 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 think. 
Uh, is anyone else building the pottery here? Pottery means I need to take more clay actions in the future, but that's fine. I can build stone oven eventually. What improvements am I building? Threshing board, shifting cultivation are both fine. Sheep wall's fine. Chicken coo's not fine. Threshing board, sheep well. Turn rest plow. All right, we'll do pottery. Pottery is just better. It's just straight up better. Like it's not ideal, obviously, but it's just straight up better. I I I would like to build it. It is gonna be two wood build for sure, and make me sad. Although it's gonna make his his food situation quite bad, but like he doesn't need like amazing food, so it's gonna kind of screw up the food in this game. I mean, honestly, it's all. Oh my god, not doing it. Wait, this got to be this got to be a, a wood oak, right? All right, yeah, I, I called it. Got to be a wood oak. Womp womp. Yeah, I will be fishing first action if it gets around to me. It's just a little bit too much food, and that's a little bit too good. Um, otherwise, I don't know what I'm doing. Reedstone food, I guess. Oh, various weather's starting. How did I not notice this? How did I not notice various weather was starting here? What am I? What was I doing with my life? Wait, what did they starting player to do? What, what did they do? When did they starting player? Why, why did I think that they weren't starting player here? What was I thinking? Yeah, it's gonna be build, obviously. Yeah, my building is just very delayed here. Given that it's delayed, I might as well just wait for two more read and, and build another time. I might as well just take four clay here, get a bunch of food, take two read, build another time. Like, I might as well just take my time with it. I might as well just take my time with it. I'm not in a rush. Like, we can just take some good actions. I don't need to build immediately. I can chill and wait. Every I can let everyone else get their builds. Only one room? What the heck is that? That's so crazy. That's nuts. That is nutty. Rainier only has three food? Dang. Well, I guess there goes my freaking fishing. Well, no, it, uh, fishing might get to me, actually. If Rainier wants to build, he's got to build with his first action. The food might get completely destroyed here. The problem is that I'm not, like, in the, the conversation of building here unless I want to start player. And start... Well, starting player to build does get me um, the next grow in round nine. And that might be good enough. The problem is that, like... Lumen really wants me to be able to build here because handing Rainier this food with an early fourth family member is very bad. Um, like the problem is that I can't, I just really can't afford to to do anything. Like Lumen, Lumen kind of screwed us both a little bit by doing that. Oh, wait, that's rude. <laughs> this is rude. This just hooks hooks Rainier up. It only hooks Rainier up. This, this only hooks Rainier up here because now I like. Rainier gets to take the four food in peace, like, I, cause I'm not gonna take the four food. I mean, maybe, maybe Lumen can just take the four food next turn. I, I think this, this makes us that Rainier is like, maybe they can't grow here, I don't know. Makes it more risky, but I think it makes it more likely to get the four food. I, if Lumen really wanted the food to get blocked, he should have taken traveling players here. Because I'm always fishing if it gets to me. I'm never traveling players if it gets me. Traveling players, the same amount of food as one food fishing for me. So there, there's no chance that I'm doing that. Um, I'm definitely starting player to build here. Oh! Frick, man, dude, I I hate carrot trip so much. I actually hate carrot trip so much here. I actually hate it. Uh, this is really good for me though, because now I have a carriage trip in my hand. Hmm, what can I do with this carriage trip though? What kinds of spicy things can we do with a carriage trip? We can do a lot of spicy things with a carriage trip here. Um, I have to take starting here. Starting is mandatory. What am I doing with my starting player here? I have to take starting because otherwise I can't build. That's so lame. <laughs> That's super annoying. Uh, I want to take starting play reedstone food. Those are two actions I want here. I can chicken coop. Turn rest plow maybe. Yeah, we can turn rest plow here. Uh. I want chicken coop though. Mm, yeah, we got a starting player. Well, you got a starting player. This is this is mandatory. Plow, threshing board. Can't slam this chicken coop here, otherwise I'm getting blown out. Yeah, we'll just play this. I don't think this is that bad. I don't really need the wood, so we can just play the plow here and be fine. We're just like always playing this no matter what, so we might as well play it now. 
Uh, okay, this is annoying on. I got I got to change this. How do I change this? Wait, I got to zoom out maybe. Uh, wait, 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 how do I? Wait, okay, so bottom of the screen maybe? Oh, wait, this is what we wanted, this is what we wanted. Okay, this is this is what I wanted before when I wanted to display things. This is what we wanted before, we wanted this. Because now you can see like all the cards in my hand. This is what we want, there we go, there we go. Now we got the perfect setup. We got the, the ideal setup. This is what the ideal Agricola board looks like. Yeah, so now I get to build finally. Woo! I get to build Pog. Poggies, we get to build. And then we'll build two more rooms later and it'll be great. We're gonna, we're gonna find four reeds somewhere in our hearts to, to build some more rooms. I've only played this chicken coop at some point. We want chicken coop. We'll probably chicken coop with our family growth and that'll be fine. We'll just do that. So next turn, I'll just take a clay action, take a build room. We'll just do that. If I don't get a clay action next turn, it's gonna be a little bit sad, but we'll figure out something to do. If I don't get a clay action, it's fine. Yeah, it's gonna be stone. I, I wanted really badly to take this clay oven. It's just like so much worse for me. It's so, so, so much worse than than uh, anything else. I think this fishing was a mistake. I, th I think honestly it was a little bit of a mistake because like, well, I mean, it wouldn't have mattered. It would not have mattered anyways because because Rainier like always gets this like this silly carrot strip action. But um, yeah, you may not like it, but this is what Peak Agricola looks like. It is. This is the Peak Agricola board. <laughs> this is peak farming action. What I really wanted to do is I wanted to, like, do something with my green screen. Okay, well, that's just rude. Well, that's... That makes you a rude dude. I guess I have to take four clay here, then. <laughs> that's fine. I guess we'll take four clay. Screw wood. Who needs wood? We, we took our four wood action once. We don't need wood for the rest of the game. All these people are people who love wood for probably good reason, right? Wood's very good, but, like, I, I could not care less about wood. I could not care less about it. I will take the, the clay, though. The clay is actually quite good for me. I need a clay grab at some point anyways. It feeds me for an eternity. Like, it, it's, it is all the clay I need for my rooms. It's all the clay I need left for anything else. Like, I can play chicken coop with it if I get another reedstone food action in the future. Like, it's all totally fine. <laughs> is, it, is this, this the song that plays when when you got Lumen and Rainier in the same game and they look at you and they say, hey, you're about to have a bad time. <laughs> you're about to have a bad time, kid. Which, to be fair, I'm having a pretty good time, honestly. This bricklayer is pog. Uh, everything else is not as pog, but whatever. It's fine. We'll deal with it. We're fine. This game's still pretty clean. This still clean game. Everything's still going okay. We didn't get completely locked out of the growth here, so that's fine. And we have the well and the and the pot and the what's it called? Yeah, pottery. That's what it's called, the pottery. So we've got lots of decent things going on. Um, we're also gonna sneak into the build here here soon, and then we should be able to build our our next rooms in peace. Hopefully, hopefully we can build our next rooms in peace. Hopefully, if we can't build our next rooms in peace, we're gonna have we're gonna resort to violence. Um, I would like to cook a, a clay, please, because. Then I don't have to worry about feeding forever. That'd be cool. Well, yeah, we're not in copium. No, everything's okay. Everything is fine still. Everything's totally fine. What the heck is, oh, it's just Rogan TV. I was like, Joe Rogan TV made an emote? What the <laughs> Why is Joe Rogan TV making an emote? What the heck is that? Build me a room, please. I would like a room, uh, sure, right here, sure. This better only cost one clay, otherwise I'm gonna be tilted. Oh, oh sorry, run that by me again. Five clay. Five clay. <laughs> hmm. I appear to not have to pay clay. <laughs> That's very interesting. 
Very interesting. Uh, well, I guess we have an extra clay in our... <laughs> I, I have one extra clay in my supply. Hmm. <laughs> I did not realize that was a thing. All right, well, we got one extra clay, I guess. I don't know what to do about it. Am I, am I like, uh, am I keeping this clay? Am I burning it? I'm probably just gonna pretend I don't have a clay. We'll, we'll just see. I, I, I will try to pretend I don't have a clay. If possible, if possible, I'm gonna try and pretend I don't have it. Um, what do I want here? I want a redstone food so that way I can play a chicken coop if possible. Uh, yeah, redstone food's a little bit too good. It allows us to do so many things next turn. Cause I don't know if I want a carriage trip yet. I don't, I don't know if that's gonna be possible. I don't think anyone else needs read. I'm pretty sure nobody else needs read for like the rest of the game. I don't think Rainier wants to build a fifth room. I highly suspect he doesn't. Um, I mean, if he does, then that's fine too, but far, yeah, far, farming in the dark world. Yeah, farming in the dark world, yeah. Hey, we got uh, we got Bowser's to, to beat, okay? We got uh, Bowser's, we got it, we got it throw. We, we have three Bowser's to throw. For the first Bowser throw, we're gonna we're gonna throw various weather. For the second Bowser throw, Lumen is going to ground pound into the stage. We're gonna have to do some, you know, we're gonna have to do some jump or whatever, and then we're gonna throw him. And then and then finally Rainier is going to uh, is gonna be the final boss, and he's gonna make the stage into like this nice star. But we're also gonna throw him too. So, <laughs> uh, Gary, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Well, this game is not going amazingly. But it's also not going terribly. It's not, this is, this is fun. This is about what we expected when we saw the early game lineup. We saw that the person to our left is gonna be doing silly things with this drop thatched roof. Like, like everything's going okay. We've been getting a little cut on Reed here. That's okay, which I didn't really expect, but I guess it makes sense because the Reed person is to our left. You want the Reed person to your right. Okay, this is good. This means that I'm never using this carriage trip until I absolutely need to. This carriage trip is staying in my hand until like round 12 where I can actually dumpster someone with it. So we're, we're gonna dumpster people with our carriage trip here. We're gonna absolutely dumpster people with our carriage trip. Oh wait, so chat Pog Song coming up. Wait, Pog Song. Wait, 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 wait. I'm turning it up for the Pog Song. Sometimes in life your growth gets delayed. But all that does is power me up. Having a small family only makes us stronger. And we are not gonna stop fighting until we won the game. Although probably we're not getting, uh, this is this is not a Castlevania track. This is from, um, it is a Super Mario ROM song made by someone just for the Super Mario ROM community. Um, it's called Fire and Ice. It's by someone by the name of Radix, but it's from a Mario ROM. It's used in the game Invictus by Just Cook, which is a, a it's a Mario ROM hack. Uh, it's quite good. It, this track is so good, though. It's very, very good. It's like only feature of that game. It like is not known like anywhere else. Uh, but yeah. Also, what's up, Hideous Sides? How's it going? I didn't see your big yo until just now. I've been I've been focusing on uh, how I'm gonna play this game. <laughs> We're focusing on what we're doing. Um, do I want a carriage trip for three read here? That's the other question. I don't think that I do. I think that I don't care about carriage. Oh, yeah, I have one less clay, one less clay, one less clay. We have one less clay. Chat, chat, my clay is at minus one. The Pareto Frontier of Nerdum. Yes, that is exactly it. We are on the Pareto Frontier of Nerdum. It, it, yeah, I, exactly. I just described like a whole bunch of shenanigans that's like super deep in the, in the lore. Imagine wanting wood. Imagine that. I want this chicken coop so bad. I gotta play this chicken coop here, right? This chicken coop's so good. Yay, last week of, of uni. Bing chillin. Bing chillin. I need to play some bing chillin. That's what I need. I need to get my social score up. My social score is kind of weak right now. I need, I need to get that my social credit score up. Gotta get it up. Starting player. Play pipe. Gotta get the food in there. I'm fine with that. 
I'm sad the read has gotten so cut this game. I'm hoping that doesn't continue. I want this three read very bad. This three read would be very good for me. Yeah, three would be quite nice for me here. Um, oh, I don't have to take family growth in my first action though. So I can take the three read first if I really want to. I'm probably gonna do that. I'm probably gonna go three read chicken coop here. That's fine. Yeah, three read chicken coop's all good. You little poop, you peace. We've been, we've been pieced. You're such a piece. Uh, I mean, we can take more readstone food. More readstone food's fine. Just take a read action later on. Uh, man. Rainier knows, man. He knows about the... I want to block Major so bad. <laughs> I want to punish. Punish! I need to punish him. I need to punish. I need to break out the punishment, but I can't because I'm too far behind. So I got to just read stun food it up and, and hope for the best. Um, yeah, this is fine. We'll just read stun food and then we'll just chicken coop. We'll just chicken coop it up later. We will chicken coop. We have the carriage trip. No BS can happen to us. We can't get freaking uh, build carriage trip shenanigans. So that's good. We'll just do this. Everyone can build again. What the heck? Why can everyone build again? What's going on? I don't want to play the scholar at all. I want to build again because I have the most efficient builds of all freaking time. All the food in this game is getting burned, by the way. The food in this game is getting completely burned, which means that maybe we have a chance, honestly. If the food is getting burned in this game and there's so much wood that exists already, Lumen already has like so much wood. Rainier already has so much wood. Like, is Rainier really building a fifth room here? Is that really happening? It's gonna just burn all the wood. Can, how, I mean, it, the scores this game are gonna be bad because of this, because because I, I don't know. Like, yeah, I, I, I just like, I'm over wood. <laughs> it's not, like, wood actions are very efficient. They can get you a lot of points. I'm over it though. We don't, we don't really need wood this game to get lots of points. Like we can build in clay. Like, we will just build in clay. I will build a million clay rooms if I have to. If, if you're, if that's the way to points this game is building like a billion clay rooms and rendering to stone, I will absolutely do that. I'll do it. Don't doubt me. Yeah, this is an improvement. I don't know what this is gonna be. Could be a lot of things here. Gonna be a BMW. Okay, that makes sense. That's very unfortunate for us because we would really like that uh, read. Although, like, I don't think this is gonna work out because the read pressure is gonna be pretty insane for me. Like, I want a lot of read here. Um, all right, I will grow. I will play my chicken coop. Yeppers, play his chicken coop for a plain read. All right, so I'm at one less. I, I have one less read in my, one less uh, clay in my supply. I got to keep that in mind. I'm only going to be at three clay. We only have three clay after this turn. Only three clay after this turn. Gotta keep that in mind. Every stone is so good for us though. Every single stone, like re I'm fine taking read stone food over and over again. It's so good for us. I should also take a plow like pretty early next turn. I also need a plow. Okay, let me turn the music down again because I realize that uh, it's a little bit loud. That's my fault. But yeah, I, I, I'm glad to hear that your last week of uni went well. I, my last week is next week. Time to fight Baby Bowser. Yeah, is this the Baby Bowser? Is that what this song is from? Oh yeah, it is. It's from Yoshi's Island. I, I, I didn't realize that. That's funny. The soundtrack's so good. It's such a good soundtrack. It's so, so good. Invictus soundtrack is heavy pog. I wish I had opened a field watchman. Wouldn't that have been cool? Although my draft would have been way worse if, I, if that had happened. Oh, <laughs> it's so bad for me. Whatever, my food's great. That's all that matters in life is that my food's great. Lumen and Rainier's food are bad. My food is good, so they can suffer for having bad food here. Yeah, like honestly, like if the if the punishment for having bad food is that I get the well and I get a pottery, like, eh, or having bad have bad family growth is that, then I'll take it. I'll take it. Chat. Any more soundtrack suggestions? By the way, this one's about to run out. I need I need more video game soundtracks. Taking a clay action? What the heck? What's that? Oh, CW Gordon, thank you for following. I hope you're doing well. I, what, what is this, this, these wood grabs with this bonehead and player, I don't know. It's, the clamps on the wood are a little bit too hard here. It's a little bit too hard of clamp. God, two in action, Rainier, why? Why two it? I don't understand. The wood clamps are real. Whatever, I just don't care about wood this game. I honestly, every readstone food action is like the same because uh, this one, I don't know what this is from. It's from, oh, this is Castlevania. This one's Castlevania. Hi, Catch Slim, how are you? 
I feel like I've seen you around uh, Agricola streams before, which is Pog. Yeah, we're, we're in not a great shape this game. We can't get efficient wood actions, but whatever. There's other things to do besides efficient wood actions always. Yeah, like, all, the, all this wood's getting taken. I don't really care. Wood is pretty inefficient for me anyways. So, I mean, we'll take wood eventually, but we don't have to take it now. Well, we'll just fence later on. It's fine. We, we really don't need wood for any of our improvements here. All of our improvements do not need wood. We just need fields. Like, fields are going to be the most important avenue to points. Like, I can go... What I can do this next turn is I go, like, field... Fields, veggie, seed seller, and then sow. Like, that that might be my avenue to points here, is, is fields, veggie, seed seller, sow. I definitely need to plow with my first action. If I don't get plow, then, I don't know, maybe maybe I take a three wood, maybe I take something else. Who knows? I don't know what I'm going to do if I don't get plow here. I definitely have to plow with my first action, though. I definitely want stone oven at some point. I could take stone oven. I could go seed seller, take two grain, stone oven. I want to take Reedstone food every turn. That's one big problem with, with life, is that I need to take Reedstone food every turn. That's a big problem with my life, is we got to take so much Reedstone food here, which is, you know, it's it's fine. Yeah, we're just never fencing. The fences are going to be brutal this game. The fences are going to be so brutal, but that's okay. This is interesting. I, yeah, this is actually good for me. This is very good for me. This is good for me. Yeah, this is super good for me. Super duper good for me. This means there's going to be so much wood in this game. We'd love to see it. We'd love to see it when there's going to be tons of wood in the game. Rainier's food is so bad. He's going to take, like, a pig here. <laughs> He's going to take one pig. He's going to take one pig to feed. Wait, does he? Can he trigger clay pipe? No, clay pipe doesn't even help. He's got to take one pig here. That's so sad. Oh, he's got, wait, wait, he's got a veggie. He's got a veggie. He could raw eat the veggie. He's got to raw eat something. Like, his food is so bad this game. Lumen's in a pretty good spot, actually. Lumen, Lumen is in a pretty good spot this game. Lumen got the early growth. Like, was very well set up to grow. Um, I was not. I wasn't really in a good spot for it. I, I, I went last. Going last is brutal in these types of games. Like, fortunately, I had a decent enough ox strat to, to save myself for early on. But, like, it's still pretty brutal question is do i fish i don't think i have the time to fish honestly like i think that one fish early on was good like like turn it getting a, a start player three food action was pretty nice early on but like it, it, it like fishing would have been cool but we didn't have to fish yeah i want to play the seed seller seed seller is actually going to be insane for us this game considering that we can't get wood <laughs> considering we can't get wood we're just gonna play seed seller it's gonna be great I wonder if Lumen has... No, that wouldn't make sense. This has got to be a build from Lumen. Nothing else makes sense here other than a build from Lumen. Literally doesn't make sense. Uh, what do I do here? Uh, so plow, redstone food. Mm, plow, redstone food. Yeah, there's a plow. It's a very well-timed plow because uh, next for the next few turns, plows are going to be very, very scarce. Like, I have to plow very aggressively next turn because all the people that want plow are very are like ahead of me. So, okay, he's just going to raw eat the veggie here. His food is awful. His food situation is really, really bad. Like, if he plows on me, I'm just taking greed stone, stone food, and then he can, can suffer as a result. Having your only Auk in play being this Furnisher is very unfortunate for him. <laughs> it's very unfortunate. He's a, he, he has a, a kind of weak draft, I think. Although I guess everyone's draft ended up kind of weak except for various weathers draft. I guess it's all weak. I just had the bad starting position. Which is unfortunate, but them's the breaks. Them's the breaks. Maybe I'm in an okay spot. I never know. Whenever scoring's turned off, I just always think I'm losing, and then I just I'm always play like I'm playing from behind, which probably helps me out, honestly. Probably helps me out. Oh, I need to convert a clay when I feed, by the way, chat. Gotta convert a clay when I feed. Have to do that. My food is in such good shape. My food is in a crazy good spot right now, which is wonderful. We'd love to see it. Love to see it when my food's in a good spot. Yep, there goes all your stuff. Very cool. Yeah, I will I will exchange this for food. Thank you very much. Hi, Catchy Slim. How are you? Oh, I, use, I said that already. Darn it. Every once in a while, I look at my chat, and I'm just like, oh, yeah, this person talked. I need to talk to them. And then I forget that I, talk, I, I said something like five minutes ago. That's the problem with not being a big streamer chat is that uh, <laughs> my chat isn't, like, scrolling really fast. So I can't just, like, look over and respond to something. Every time I look over, it's going to be, like, like, similar things. Chat, please type Kappa so I can react to it. <laughs> 
Ooh, also we're getting milk jug food. Milk jug food's also fine too. That's gonna supplement our feeding quite nicely, which we love to see. Yeah, this first action, first action double boar is so sad. This is so, so sad. Oh yeah, thank you for the kappa. I appreciate it. Uh, What do I do here? I need to plow fields. Plowing fields very important here. Yeah. We're just gonna do this. I think this is fine. It's it's so good. It's so good to do now. It's like it's gonna be so hard to do this later on. I gotta do it now. I gotta try and get so action at some point. It's gotta happen at some point here. Where's no no animal gang? Yeah, I don't care about wood. You can take your wood. I will fence at the last turn of the game. I do not care at all. I will fence them the last turn of the game. And if I don't get a fence, that's fine too. We'll, we'll just play a domestication expert and start holding sheep in our house or something like that. Like we'll find something to do. Uh. What am I doing with my next action here? You can build, that's fine. I'm a little surprised Various Weather's not building again, but I guess it makes sense. Various Weather doesn't really have the wood to do that, but I don't know. I don't know what Rainier is doing here. I want my Reedstone food. That's all I know that I really want. I could take a cow actually and kill more of the food in the game. We could kill food in the game, chat. We could destroy more food. What does Lumen's feeding look like? Mm, doesn't look very great to me. What does Various Weather's food look like? Mm, looks a little... I mean, actually, Various Weather's got the best food of everyone. Like, Various Weather's in probably a good spot. Lumen also in a good spot here. I have one less clay in my supply. Got to keep that in mind. I only have two clay in my supply here. So we have to take one more clay action at some point. That's fine. Gotta take another clay action at some point, that's fine. I could fish here. Fishing's also good, six food action. Six food action's pretty pog. I'm tempted to take this cow and, and take more of the food out of the game. Four stables, huh? That's fair. Yeah, see, like, I just don't care about, like, uh, stables at all. I mean, this adds more food to the game because um, I'm not going to be able to fence as easily. That makes it a little bit harder. Okay, there's the reedstone food. That makes sense. I'm going to be very tempted to seed seller here. Oh, we need another soundtrack. Let's do this one. Yeah, it's a little annoying to have that taken here, but that's fine. Tempted to play Seed Seller. Tempted to play Domestication Expert and take Sheep, actually. Very tempting to do that. I don't think I'm going to get a Sow here. Makes this Sheep well a lot better to do that. Yeah, let's do that. I don't think that otherwise I'm going to be able to do much. So I think that doing this and just taking the sheep is good. Burning more of the food in the game is really nice. Burning the food is like all that I can do here. I really have to burn the food in the game. That's my only avenue to victory. Unfortunately, it's going to hand Various Weather the win, but I don't really mind that as much. Um, various Weather, I can't do anything about what they're doing. There's nothing that I can do because uh, Rainier is blocking my um, read so aggressively here. So the only only thing that I can really do to win is to try and hurt Lumen and Rainier. The only way that I can do that is by um, trying to get some points. This also makes my sheep well a lot better too if I decide to play that. I definitely want a starting player this next turn. So yeah, I want to go sheep and then starting player sheep well. And then in round 12, I'm going to go starting player carriage trip into the round 12 action. And then we're going to do do the thing again. Oh, no. So much stone. That's so much stone. Actually, this is good for me. I could sew now. I could try and sew. Mm, whatever. The only action I know for sure that I want is the sheep. If I don't get the sheep, I'm going to be very sad about it. All right. This is starting player. That's fine. Yeah, I just don't care about wood this game. We're just never building any any fences. It's just never happening. Like, like I mean, it, it's just because, like, the actions are not efficient enough for me to do it. Like, it, it's just not going to happen. Like, if you want to cut the wood, that's totally fine. It's all good. I can still hold animals, which is cool. The only, one of the only reasons to fence is to hold animals. Hilariously. So now we can hold two animals. We're going to be totally fine with that. That's going to be fine. We could pick up a pair of sheep at some point. We're, we're going to aim for picking it up now, but if we can't pick it up now, it's going to be fine. I don't know what else uh, Rainier is going to plan on doing here, but 
but probably it's gonna be pick up sheep and, and make me sad, but that's okay. That happens, it happens. I'm not, not hugely offended by it. The goal is just to burn all the food in the game. Yeah, it's unfortunate. God, a four food action, so lame. So lame, there's no food. I mean, it forced him to burn the food in the game, fortunately. Um, probably I'm gonna go fishing here then. It's probably what I have to do. I guess it's a six food action to go fishing anyways, so we might as well just do that. Um, yeah, we'll just fish. I mean, we're gonna take the sheep later and hold them in our house anyways at some point, so it's not gonna be a huge deal. Um, yeah, this is totally fine. We'll just do that. We'll just fish now. Fish now, take more of the food out of the game. I don't really have anything better to do. I could take a veggie. Veggie, grain, more grain. I want to start player with my first action next round, so I think that probably we're just gonna do. I could veggie now. Maybe, maybe there's no food in the game. Yeah, whatever. This is fine. We'll just do this. We'll just do this now. We'll, we'll burn some food. Uh, there's nothing really better for me to do here, so we'll, we'll just burn more food. That's fine. Burn more food. Rainier really sunk me with his game. Rainier really sunk me with his game. Rainier, Rainier decided to, to go into all the things that I wanted to do with my actions, but Rainier's just feeding with all them. Rainier's eating away my game. How dare you eat my game, Rainier? At least he passed me this carrot strip so I can completely destroy him in, in the next couple rounds. At least there's that. Yeah, th this this next two rounds is gonna be hilarious when I go freaking starting player sheep bowl and the starting player carriage trip, whatever the round twelve action space is, and it's gonna be dumb. <laughs> it's gonna be super dumb. I think various weather might have to take a cow here. I, I don't really know how. I think this was a mistake to to try and do stuff this way. Okay, I have to remember I have one less clay in my supply. I have one less clay in my supply chat. One less clay in my supply. Got to keep it in mind. Yeah, like four wood without without a bunch of wood, four wood is just not efficient. Like taking four wood and fencing uh, one pasture is only three points, so it's a point and a half for each action. Like if you can take eight wood and fence a pasture of four spaces, then eight wood is worth six points essentially. So if you can take four wood, four wood fence then that's six points, that's two points per action. If I could do better by that, by not taking wood, then I shouldn't take wood. And I don't really need to take wood. I mean, I can do better by just taking reed and then trying to like reno or something like that. Like, like renoing is gonna be totally fine here, I think. There's a lot of stone in this game, which is the result of me cutting a little bit of the stone out of the game. Um, but yeah, we have plenty of opportunity to get stone here. The food in this game is nuts. Yeah, see, like, I, I think that, like, this is, in, like, it's okay. The problem, I'm just never taking stone. Like, stone is just so point inefficient for me. Like, it's so point inefficient. Like, it is, it, I have the capacity to hold animals. So given that I can hold two animals, essentially every single um, wood action that I take is less than two points. So there's no reason for me to take wood. It increases my point cap, but I can increase my point cap in other ways here. So there's just no reason for me to take wood. Like, probably it's going to mean I get a pretty mediocre score, but, like, you know, as long as I can plow some fields at the end of the day, like, we're going to start player here. We're going to try and hit some... We're going to grab a veggie. We're going to grab a grain to try and sow it. So, like, as long as we get that, that's going to be totally fine. Okay, it's like, this animal tamer is very good. Animal tamer is super duper good when um, there's not a whole lot of fences available. So, so good. The question is, am I... Um, building more rooms here that's the real question i don't think i can unfortunately I, I think i got a little bit screwed on building building uh rooms just a little bit like because the problem is i'm getting guaranteed family growth without room my point ceiling is gonna be hard to hit though if i don't get that oh yeah this is the good plow this is the good plow yeah that's fine i, I just don't care about wood at all i'll just play this sheep well in in peace we'll just do this we'll just do our little sheep well here this, this is so powerful. It's so powerful to do this, then starting player carriage trip. It, it's so dumb. It's so incredibly dumb. We'll just do this. We'll, we'll just do this and hope it's good enough for, for an okay score. And then we're going to take two sheep next turn. Yeah, actually, well, I want a veggie. The first thing I want is a veggie. 
The second thing I want is a green. Because we want to we want to set for Plasso here. Honestly, though, I may not end up taking Plasso if Family Growth flips twice. I might just Family Growth that room twice. Like it's pretty insane to do that. So, Carriage Trip, so dumb. Ban this card. Ban Carriage Trip. It's so stupid. How much food do I have? Thirteen. Yeah, I'm good on food. I'm good on food for the rest of the game. I don't I don't have to feed. I, have, I need zero more food for the rest of the game, which is very cool. Yeah, I just don't, I just don't care about, I mean, the scores in this game are gonna be like super low. Poor food, makes sense. There's gonna be low scores. I mean, I, I like doubt that, I mean, various weather might get significantly above a 40, but various weather doesn't really have that many points for things. My score is going to be bad because I have no fences. <laughs> Which is fine. I don't I don't care that much about fences. Like, there's so many other point-efficient things that I could do. Like, this carriage trip shenanigans is really good. Carriage trip shenanigans are super good. But yeah, th things didn't quite break my way. That's okay. That's all good. We're gonna see what the scores are. Maybe I could beat Rainier. Rainier's game is not great. Rainier's game is is not great, but Rainier has fences though. Rainier has a lot of fences, so like I'm probably in a little bit of trouble. Probably in a little bit of trouble. The priority these people put on wood is like high, and that's fine. And so like as a result, I just have to find other things to do that are worth points. If I can find other things to do that are worth points other than the wood, then I will be successful. But if I can't, then that's fine too. I've literally only been able to take one wood action this game. I've only taken one four wood this game. That's it. Uh, the wood's just been sucked right out of the game. And it's not been because I, I haven't put a priority on it. Like it hasn't been because of that at all. It's just that like, I, ju I just physically can't do it. It's just not really doable for me. This song's a bop. Uh, what are we doing here? Yeah, my next like few actions are locked. I would like, do I play a seed seller? Is seed seller actually okay here? No, I think I'd rather just take a grain. If grain gets taken, I'll play a seed seller, obviously, but I would rather take a grain. All right, cool. Screw the clay in this game too. Darn you, early family. Early family growth also like kind of screwed me this game. I, I was like really set up for a non-early family growth game and then it just flipped and, and just put me in the dirt a little bit. All right, more, more stone injected into the game. This is good for me, I like this. I like that stone is being injected rapidly into the game. That's great. God, my score might actually be really bad. My score might be very bad here. I got very dumpstered by this early family growth. I was definitely the recipient of the dumpster by the early family growth. That definitely put me in the dirt a little bit. What do I want next turn? I want the two sheep. The two sheep is the other action that I want because I can hold four sheep. It's a three point move. So that's that's the other action that I want here. Um, I want to take a grain here, right? Um, grain in case that flips. Yeah, there's nothing else really that I would rather do. Yeah, it's fine. That's fine. Yeah, just everything's point inefficient. How much food do I have? Okay, so I have 13, 17, 18, 20, 22, 24. I'm eating six, it's 18. So I'm fine. If family growth flips here, I'm still fine on food, as long as I just eat all my all my clay here. Do I want joinery? <laughs> no, I don't. I want stone oven, but it's not happening because Lumen's building stone oven here, which is unfortunate. Can I build in stone? Can I build a stone room? No, building clay room's like way more efficient. Yeah, the the question is how do I get points after this turn? I think the answer is gonna be build in clay, um, very unfortunately. Um, I can maybe get enough wood for a reno fence at the end of the game. That might be my only other avenue to points. The problem is that the reno queue is so like busted. I really, there was really not much. I got put in a very bad spot early on. I got put in like such a bad spot early on. Like Rainier really screwed me this game. Uh, Rainier, Rainier did a little bit too much too many things to screw me.
little bit too many things to screw me, but whatever. Both Rainier and IA's games are not great. <laughs> they're both they're both looking a little suspect, so it'll be interesting. Lumen's game is fine. I think Lumen's gonna be totally fine here. Improvement. This is yeah. This is everyone's racing to this uh, stone oven here, I guess. So Lum or yeah, he gets to build it first. It's kind of nice. Very nice. Yeah, I mean, this is this field watchman looking pretty sus. Looking pretty sus. Do it! Why aren't you doing it? Just do it. Just do it! What? 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 Why? Why though? Why though? But why though? I would like to ask you a question. But why though? That's the question I got for you. I don't agree with... I mean, there are going to be a million animal pairs next turn, so, like, maybe this is okay. Maybe this is fine. There are going to be a million animal pairs next turn. So it's, like, it's fine. It's fine, I guess. It's not that bad. It's, it feels a little premature, though. It feels a little bit premature. It does also screw Rainier, which, like, I'm fine. That's what I, we're, we're racing to the bottom here. Rainier and I are really racing to the bottom. We are we are really having a race to last place here. We really got nothing good going on for ourselves. We both really, like, got in each other's way a little bit, and, and we both suffered for it. So, yeah, it's it's just, uh... <laughs> It's all, uh, all going not great for us. If I can get a three read action, maybe I'll take it. I don't even care about the read anymore. I honestly, like, building is not even great for me here because I have to take so many actions to do it. I'd rather just take wood. Okay, Reno for, is this joinery? This has got to be joinery. Got to be joinery. This is, like, the only play here. Ooh, Loom. Okay, Loom is something, at least. At least Loom is something. Loom is a thing. It is definitely a thing. Various weather's gonna leave all the animal pairs here. I get to destroy everyone with this carriage trip. Absolutely dumpstering people with this carriage trip here. And by dumpstering people, I mean dumpstering Rainier. <laughs> all right, here's the stone oven, womp womp. Yeah, Various Weather's game is pretty good. My game is not so good. Just not not that good. Just not, not a lot going on. There's a lot enough plow support for people in this game, unfortunately, that like uh, being able to plow fields a little bit was just not much of a comparative advantage to everyone else. So I got I got kind of the short end of the stick there. That's okay. That's okay. You, it, it happens sometimes. Sometimes you you win some, you lose some. I, I need to try and set up a rhino fences in the last round. That's the only way that I could possibly get back into things. I have so many axes I want. I need family growth to flip yours so bad. I need family growth here to flip yours so bad. I really am going to be screwed if family growth doesn't flip here. Because if family growth flips here, I get to five um, if I want. I can also, like, uh, maybe plasto next turn. Plasto next turn is also quite good. Although, is plasto better than family growing? Family growing is just better. I just don't, I don't care about plasto that much. I really don't care about that much. Is swing plow only on plow one or is on plow and so? It's only plow. He can't can't use this on plow so, which is interesting. So I would like to cook a clay. Yes, please. Don't need it. We'll, we'll just have our food set up. Be, be all nice and set up with our food. Yeah, very, various weather is just crushing us. Just crushing. Maybe, maybe Lumen's gonna gonna win. Maybe Lumen's gonna pull it out. It's close between those two. It's close between those two, and like Rainier and I can like compete for for third or whatever. But I'm I think I'm still behind that. So that's cool. Uh, various weather's gonna Reno gonna take my clay too. That's very annoying. Whatever. We'll just carriage trip. We'll just carriage trip and be happy about it. Please let Family Growth flip. That would be a nice break for me. That would be a very nice break for me if Family Growth flipped. That, that would be the break that I need, honestly. Hey, Poggies. Poggies, chat, chat, type Poggies. Poggies, let's go. All right. Have, we, it's it's time to, to do the carriage trip thing. It's about that time. Don't you just love carriage trip, chat? Isn't carriage trip like the most fun card you've ever seen in your life? 
My god, it's so fun. How much food do I have? 11, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 20. All right, we're fed on food as long as we take one clay action. As long as we take one clay action, we're fed on food, so we don't have to worry about food at least, so we can worry about taking wood or, or taking sheep or something like that. I'm probably taking two sheep over taking wood, honestly. Taking two sheep is, like, so much better for me, and I'm just never getting an animal pair otherwise, so probably I'm just doing that if it gets to me. Man, brutal. Brutal, brutal, brutal. What am I wheeling? Yeah, I'm wheeling something good here. I just don't know what. Yeah, I just need to take two sheep here. Two sheep is like an animal action. I'm just not really getting it. So uh, this does ensure that various weather like almost certainly wins, but there's nothing that I could do about it. <laughs> there's nothing I could do about it. I have to do this play. Uh, it, it like ensures that various weather wins, but like whatever. They're going to get like a million good actions because I, I hold starting player for twice in a row, which is super dumb. So like, I don't know, freaking ban, ban, uh, ban that card, ban it, get it out of here, yeet it. This, this game is showing how dumb, uh, carriage trip is. It's so stupid. It's like absolutely one of the most dumb cards in existence. And then we'll just take wood in, in the last round because no one else wants wood, right? No, dude, the sheep's gonna get taken. The sheep's gonna get taken for sure. I feel it. I feel it in my loins that the sheep are getting taken here, but I want the sheep. I want them though. Aw, oh, man. All right, sheep got taken. Womp womp. Uh, how many round of stones are there? There's one, two... Uh, what am I doing with this action next turn? Uh, next turn, I need to family growth without room because I have so much food, I think. And I need the actions. I think every action is, like, so good for me. I think the actions are, like, so good for me here. Um... Yeah, we're just gonna snag wood here then. I think wood's got four wood is actually decent. Four wood is actually like two points on average. Like it's actually pretty good on average. So I'm I'm fine taking four wood here. Totally fine with that. Less than four wood is like not really worth it, but I'll take four wood. I'll take four wood for an eventual rent fences. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. Alright, I'm also BR being I need to actually I I, I should go to the, I wanna go to the bathroom. I'll go to the bathroom after this break or after the game. I'll I'll wait for it. Yeah, this, uh, this domain suggestion expert didn't quite work out. I, I, Rainier having Loom kind of put me in the dirt a little bit. That, that definitely made it so that Rainier wanted to take the sheep. And I didn't know about that, obviously, so I got a little dumpstered on that. It was very unfortunate. I, I didn't, I didn't see the Loom, obviously. Um, if I knew that Rainier had a Loom, I would not have gone along this route. Loom gonna take the, st the reed, that's fine. Starving Rainier, we'd love to see it. What am I doing with this? I can joinery here. <laughs> I could joinery. Joinery is not the worst. Joinery is pretty bad, actually. If you have... All right, let's think about this. I could three stone. Or two stone at some point. Three stone, maybe? I don't know. I could just jack the fences. We could just mess up the fencing game. I want a family growth that room. Family growth that room is definitely the most important action here. Well, plow sowing is just not not good enough for me. We'll let various weather have the plow sow. Various weather's grain game is actually kind of weak. Uh, various weather has like no grain here, which is kind of interesting. Yep, I saw this coming. This is good for me actually. This means the clay is gonna pile up a little bit, which is nice. I have plenty of food here. I really don't need food at all. Yeah, I just don't need food. I'm I'm just totally chilling on food here. We are being chilling on food. There's the plow. Now there's all sorts of plows in the game, which is very sad. Oh, it's so sad. I got so destroyed by that. Here's the fence action to get all the animal pairs. Yeah, nothing just, no, just nothing worked out this game. Like I had ideas of ways to get back into it. Just didn't quite work out. That's okay. It happens. It happens. Man, we just don't get an action for like five minutes after you carriage trip. After you carriage trip, you just don't get any actions. It's hilarious. Yeah, we're just, we're refocused on animals. Like, <laughs> wood, we need wood again. We need three wood. Three wood's actually okay for us here. We wanna get the materials to reno at some point too. Like two wood is very good for, or two stone is very good for us. I'm not averse to taking a, um, I'm not averse to taking something that, that lets me like do stuff with the, the stone. I don't know, like like taking a joinery. 
taking joinery bad? Taking joinery is probably bad. I need a little bit of extra food, honestly. Uh, yeah, we got we got very screwed. Well, Rainier had feeding issues and had and took like a million read from us in the middle game. Um, so and we got screwed because family growth flipped first. Like that also screwed us. Uh, it, it, it was very unfortunate how things worked out. Like like things just didn't work out our way at all. Um, there wasn't really anything I could do either. Like everyone was cutting wood very aggressively. I started off going fourth, so I, I my first round didn't go. I don't know, super great. Yeah, like I, I don't know where things could have gone differently this game. Rainier just really screwed me in the in the middle of this game. Oh, the field fences, no, dude, not the field fences. Well, that's good for me. That means I get a bunch of wood here. That's nice. We get all the wood. Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool to get all the wood here? Yeah, but yeah, it's it's a it's a bad time. It's it's not a good time that that happened that way. But like, there's nothing that I could really do about it. Like, I, I can there is there is not really a good turn where I could take Reed aggressively. Like, Rainier's starting player for Reed and starting player for like something else that was outrageous. That was something that like I wanted to do, but Rainier needed to do it because Rainier has zero food. Um, like now Rainier's food is okay. Like it's fine. Undo button. Too powerful. Yeppers. Yeah, it's a little bit sussy with field fences. A little bit sussy with field fences. That's, yeah. Yeah, the, these fences, these initial fence pastures should be up and down. They shouldn't be uh, like that. All right, right on early. Is this joinery? This might be joinery. No, it's cooking hearth, okay. Upgrading, makes sense. Needs food. Makes a ton of sense. The food in this game is going to be very monk as towards the end. I think it's going to be a little bit spicy for food. But fortunately, I am super fed. The only thing I had going for me this game is that my food situation was insane. And I was able to get a lot of points doing so. Like, we have freaking well pottery, chicken coo, sheep farm. Like, all these cards are great. They, it's just, like, they, I don't think they can save me here. Oh, no! I forgot I saw this card. I forgot I saw Plowmaker. God, I can't believe Plowmaker made it that far. I'm so sad. Oh, dude, Alexa, play Despacito. It's so sad. Uh-huh, 14, 15. I only have one clay in my supply, by the way. I need I need one more clay. Uh, so I gotta do this. That's for sure the action to take. This is gonna be a start player, which is gonna be very sad for me. Do I build the joinery? The real questions. Are we joinerying? We got a reno here. There's no real options. In an ideal world, I would go three wood into four wood into like fence of some kind. Like in, in a completely ideal world, I would do that. Um, I don't know if that's gonna happen though. We might play a shift in cultivation, although I need a little bit more food to do that. Oh, my food's actually fine. I forgot that I have a bunch of food for, coming from this cattle market triggering twice. I forgot about that. How can I forget about such a thing? Yep, here comes, here comes the dynamite. Here comes the carriage trip. <laughs> Poor Rainier. That's what you get for shipping me the carriage trip. That's what you get. Ship me a carriage trip, go last for the last three turns of the game. Uh-huh. Field fences incoming, seems very nice. Now I got I got to to do stuff and things. Probably got to plow field my next. Me and me and Rainier are just like competing for plows. Although we're gonna end up plowing all of our fields. I guess Rainier's game's not looking terrible. I guess only my game is looking truly abysmal at this point. <laughs> it's very cool. That's okay though. It's okay. I I I, I got a little, a little messed up by the positioning. Like it it sort of it was it was just not great. So that's fine. It's fine. It's all Gucci. I wasn't able to make these plows work either. Maybe I could sew this turn. Maybe sewing this turn's good. Mm. Ooh, sewing this turn screws various weather. Hmm. Hmm. Sewing this turn screws over various weather. Hmm. Very interesting. That is very interesting. If I sew here. That I all, Rainier screwed me on that really. I mean, I didn't know Rainier had Loom, otherwise I would not have done this. Uh, but yeah, that that was also a bummer. That was also a very big bummer here. That that was very unfortunate. 
I played Domestication Expert thinking like, oh yeah, I can just like snag a two sheep at some point this time or the next time. And then Rainier took them with his first action both times because Rainier needed food too bad. <laughs> so I got I got very dumpstered on that. There, there was like three spots, I think, where there was two sheep on the board where I could have potentially had them if, if uh, Rainier didn't need them with Domestication Expert. And then Rainier took them. Uh, so I, I got very screwed by that. When did I play this card? Oh, maybe it wasn't two spots. Maybe it was only one spot. But yeah, it was it was very unfortunate. All right, here's a fence action. That's cool. I like that. I like leaving leaving me some fences for the last turn. Very pog. Do I get greedy on wood? I mean, I'm coming in last. I have to get greedy here, right? Like, I have to get, like, a six wood action next round or something in order to make this game, like, even remotely close to being feasible. All right, this is a, uh, like, stable architect or something along those lines. What, whatever it's called, it's that card. Yeah, like, this is where I wish scores were on, because if scores were on, people would see that I'm not winning and they won't block my, uh, my wood here. <laughs> I need my wood to not get blocked here really bad. Uh, it's just Rainier and I that need to plow. So given that I don't even care about plowing here, I'd rather just plow some next turn or something like that. Uh, what am I doing this turn then? What can I possibly do this turn? I could sew. Sewing is actually not terrible this turn. If I don't sew this turn, it's going to be very hard for me to sew this turn. <laughs> like, if I don't sew immediately, I just will not be able to get a sew. I can get two plows next turn super easily, too. I'm just going to try and float the wood forever. Um... I need stone for Reno, but I can take two stone and be fine. Yeah, sure. Screw it. Screw it. Screw it. You can have fun with this. Yeah, we'll just do it now. We'll just do it now. I, I don't know what else I'm doing here. I mean, the, all the actions I need are, are actions that people don't need anymore. Like, like I need wood. Nobody else needs wood. Um, I need animals. People need animals still, but I'm not getting those. <laughs> so I need plows. Like, Rainier needs plows. It's, it's like, fine. Yeah, it's pretty decent. Seems very good here. Get, get a lot of animals. That card's very good. I like that card a lot. It's very, very good. Oh, and he has the, the bonehead, too. Fair. Yeah, every, everything kind of broke. <laughs> Rainier, Rainier really screwed me this game. Rain, Rainier was the cause of all of my issues. Rainier, take your field. Take it now. I don't want it. I want to do other things. I want the six wood next round. Can I have the six wood next round, please? Who can run on next round? Various weather can run on next round. Ooh, we like to see that. Various weather can run on next round. Yeah, I just don't, I don't care about this action at all. I'd rather honestly take Plazo with my first action next round, but I guess that Rainier also thinks the same thing and that's why Rainier's not doing anything. Um, I need to take stone for Reno this turn. I'm probably taking one sheep this turn, honestly. Stone for Reno, take a sheep. Is there anything else I'm doing? I just literally don't care about this wood at all. Uh, I should take this to prevent Rainier from, like, thinking super hard about Reno. Okay, well... Can Rainier Reno on me if I if I don't if I don't take stone here? What can Rainier do for food? So eight. I mean Rainier can just Reno if he wants to. I have to do one other passing action before I get a Reno. I need a sheep here. I need sheep. I need sheep. I just don't I don't care about the field at all. I just, like literally the field does nothing for me. I'd rather just take the one sheep, honestly. The one sheep is 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 just as good for me as the field. And it means that if Rainier decides to do some Reno nonsense, then I can just dodge it completely and, and plow with my second action. Like, this is totally fine. We'll just take this this turn. It's points that I can never get otherwise, because otherwise various weather is just gonna, gonna take two sheep at some point next turn. I'm not gonna be able to stop it, because there's other things that I have to do next turn before then, I think.
I'll just take it now. Yeah, unfortunately, <laughs> everything broke really bad. I feel like I should have blocked the clay oven, but there, I mean, there's not really good precedent for that. Like, there's not really anything good. I just, I just got wrecked by Rainier building basket makers. That really, that really sunk me there. That really, really sunk me. Rainier, Rainier building basket makers and then Rainier needing the sheep for the loom really screwed me. That, that was really a big bummer. All right, we got a one grain, one uh, wood action happening. Very cool. Yeah, if Rainier either takes reed stone food here or stone, then I can't assume that I get a reno, which means that I should just plow a field this turn. So we'll, we'll just not reno at all to, to try and max our points here. I need the six wood, honestly. Like, I just need a six wood here. Six wood would be, like, the only way that we could possibly save anything in our, our game, but um, if we don't get the six wood, we're in bad shape anyways, so it's, like, whatever. It's whatever if that doesn't happen. All right, got more late, late ox. Oh my god, are we market crying? This would actually be so good for me if if uh, Lumen market criers here. This would actually be heavy pog. I, this is a point for me. Uh, then that means I'm probably gonna plow. Then if if uh, if Rainier decides to uh, oh, but I don't get that immediately though. Hmm. We don't get that immediately. The Sows next turn are going to be very Monka S. I mean, you should just plow this turn. I should maybe just say screw it to Reno. I mean, Renoing is obviously quite good. If if Rainier doesn't take Reed Stone for a double stone, I'm I'm obligated to take stone here. I, mean, I just I'm obligated to do it. I have to do it. There's there's no other way that I can do things here. I just have to do it. I gotta get greedy. Pig. Okay, well that's not stone. Do I plow here? Do I plow? Do I take stone? The problem is that so is going to be very heavily contested next round. Um, that's a big issue for me. So is going to be heavily contested. The problem is I need to defend my reno fence if I'm on a reno fence. But I don't need to reno fence. Like, reno fencing is fine. It's a lot of points. But I also want to threaten a so next round because threatening so means I get better actions with my first action. If it has to go, if it starts so into, like, plow so, then I get pretty good actions next round. I mean, for Rainier, Renoing is not that good, I don't think. I don't think it's right. I mean, oh, he can go read some food to read some food, Reno. I just realized that. I think I have to defend a Reno here. I think Reno's worth too many points to not defend. I just have to defend it. We'll just defend it. That's fine. We'll just do it. We'll just do it. We'll defend a Reno. I hate doing it. Probably, I, I'm just like hoping Rainier realize, like, plows his turn, but he won't. <laughs> he won't do it. I want it to happen. This is gonna be, uh, what is this gonna be actually? I don't know what this is gonna be. Half timbered house, okay, well that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty decent half timbered house. It's gonna be Reedstone food for sure. It's gonna be Reedstone food. It's like obligated to be. Well, it's not obligated actually. Reedstone food is not that good. It's only a four food action. Like it's a, like I think Rainier can maybe do better. I think plowing here is, is a lot better for Rainier because it means that the farm's gonna be a lot better. But I need a cow next turn. <laughs> How do I get a cow? Need a cow. I need a food action next turn. That's so sad. I can't eat this clay in my supply. That's so sad. Oh, I can ride two grain. Pog. Wait, we can ride two grain. Let's go. Man, I got so screwed on the read here. It's so unfortunate. Hey, this domestication expert's gonna do something though, I think. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I should have seen this coming. Well, we can fence 12, maybe. Maybe we can fence 12 here. If we can fence 12 here, we have a shot. I doubt it's gonna happen, but it could happen. <laughs> hey, we got a sheep for our domestication expert, at least that's Pog. Poggies, got sheep for domestication expert, Pog. Let's go. Love to see it. Oh no, Lumen's gonna make it so I can't ride these two grain. What a bummer. Lumen's gonna make it so I can't ride the two grain. You hate to see it. 
I think various weather is going to sow with his first action, which is hilarious. I think I think that's gonna happen. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Maybe I have bad read on that situation, but I think that's gonna happen. I probably should have just plowed. I'm probably clowning a little bit on these last few turns. I need to remember to convert clay into food. So seven, eight. I just need two more food, um, which I could get one of them with the grain and get another one some other way. Honestly, think about joinering here instead of fencing. I think joinery might just like if 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 Rainier Rainier could do something really annoying and start off by taking Reedstone food here. Like that would be very annoying. All right, convert the the clay. This is my last clay in my supply. I don't have this other clay. It's very sad because the, the glitch gave me an extra clay. We'll just we'll just pretend I don't have it. Oh, I'm gonna be at exactly ten food. Okay, that's Pog. Never mind. We're gonna be at exactly enough food. We'd love to see it. I just miscounted really bad. Well, that's good. At least my food is perfect. At least we have perfect food. That's nice. That's very pog. All right. What you got? Various weather. At least Lumen doesn't need the wood anymore. That's cool. That's nice that Lumen doesn't need the wood anymore. Very, very cool. Very pog. Man, we got so destroyed on the reed. Darn you, reed. Reed, reed being the bane of my existence. Very sad. Very, very sad. Yeah, there was some turn where, like, maybe I could have taken some reed somewhere, but it didn't end up working out, so it's unfortunate. See, like, I'm, I, this game is fun. I, I wish that there were more, like, high ELO games like this. Like, this was very, very fun. I had a good time this game. Even though I got trashed a lot, like, I, I still had a good time this game. I would like that six wood, please. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Lumen's gonna take... No, Lumen can't plow so! No, Lumen can't plow so! I can't do it either, because I have to defend my thing. Whatever, I'll take my six wood. I'll take my six wood and my four wood and be happy with it, I guess. I guess that's my life, is taking six wood, four wood, and being totally happy with it. Why? Lumen! Lumen, why? You don't even need it. it uh, you're hurting the guy in last place! Why, Lumen? I'm in last! You're hurting the person in last place. In actual, factual last place here. That's so sad. I mean, okay, so various weather is definitely going to sow here because it, the Reno improvement is nothing, or Reno fence blocking me does nothing. So there's there's no chance that that so happens. There is no way that that I am in the lead this game. No chance. No shot. I mean, I'm gonna take the four wood because four wood's a bunch of points. Is four wood a bunch of points? Let's think about this. Oh, it's three points. Yeah, I have to do it. Given that I'm fencing, it's three points, so I have to do it here. Lumen's gonna fence. I could just get Reno fenced on, but like honestly, I, I just like have to play risky. Like it just has to happen here. So, yep. Okay. All right. F me up, fam. Do it. Do it. Okay, this is good. This is what we predicted. This is what the tarot cards predicted should have happened. This, this is what we predicted should happen here. This, this is what was predicted. This is what was predicted here. Should I one grain to block <laughs> from taking double grain? Yeah, because there's no more sows anymore. I, I think this this uh, market crier might not be working out quite as well, which is fine. I get a plow at some point, that's cool. All right, so my last action gets to be plow. So I'm going cow, plow, piggy. Cow, plow, piggy, uh, reno fence. Cow plow. Cow plow is just an amazing statement, by the way. I love cow plow. Cow plow. Pig. Run offense. Please leave me my cow. Leave my cow. Leave my cow alone. Leave my cow alone. I would like my cow. <laughs> I would love my cow. Please leave my cow alone. Please leave it alone. It's my cow. My cow deserves to be out there. You gotta take a veggie, right? Yes, my cow. I guess I guess the the pig's also worth the point. All right, cow. 
Alright, what's going on with the Ren action? Oh, but this Reno, god, this guy could just block my Ren fences. It'd be so freaking annoying to do that. What else is Various Weather doing? Various Weather has to take a sheep. Because Various Weather doesn't care about the, the other actions at all. A sheep is two points for Rainier here. I just don't think I'm competing at all. It's gotta be sheep rent improvement, right? So I can go cow rent improvement. We're gonna go for it. If I get screwed here, I get screwed here. We're, we got it. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna go for it. If I get screwed here, I get screwed here. It's fine. If I get screwed here, it's it's whatever. It's fine. I I, I just have to risk it. I, I I'm like so far. I'm way too far behind here to not risk anything. Like we just have to risk things here. Like if he's gonna rent on me, that's fine. Just like it doesn't do anything. It only blocks me. He could take a sheep, which sheep is two points for Rainier here. So because Rainier getting the sheep sheep is two points. So like I think sheep is the just the superior action. I'm all uh, like I should always get this rent fence back. But if various weather decides that he wants to block the person who's like very clearly in last place, that's totally fine. I think I'm very clearly in last place here. I think it's not even going to be close. I think it's not going to be close. You can think about it. Like, you can you can uh, not take the sheep if you want to, but I, I'm pretty sure that, like, it's it's just, like, I, I got to play risky. It, it denies me. How many points does it deny me? It denies I can take joinery instead, which is still five points for me. So, yeah, this is the right move. Okay, good. Good. Well, we got, to the, we got to the right place. We got to the right move. We thought about it. We got to the right move. We realized, okay, it's two points for Rainier to do this. We got to take it. So, boom. Boom! We did it. We got we got there eventually. Here's the grain. Oh, give me that point! Oh, yes, that sweet, sweet point. Let's go. Um, unfortunately, though, if I want to get a pig, I got to eat a point somewhere, which is very lame. Fencing is six points. Actually, joinery is one less point for me than fencing. <laughs> joinery is literally one less point for me than fencing here. That's actually hilarious. And joinery gives me food. That's very funny. The question is, can I take two wood? Can we take two wood here? I have to fence before taking this pig. That's very unfortunate. What is what is uh, Lumen doing at Lumen's last action? Probably playing some Auk of some kind, if I had to guess. I need a plow. Oh, I could major minor plow, actually. If I get a little bit more food, I could major minor plow. Yeah, I can just eat a point here and major minor plow. I go plow major minor plow into like Reno joinery if I need to. Like it's only a point. <laughs> Do I care about a point? If you wanna if you wanna block me and block my point, that's fine. Oh no no, it's more than a point. I lied, it's more than it's two points. Womp womp. It's two points. Alright, I guess that means I have to reno fence with my next move. What a bummer. We got a reno fence. Reno fence into prey that pig makes it back to us into plow a field, I guess. That's my line. I guess I could take some some uh clay too and just throw one away. Yeah, this is all very unfortunate. All unfortunate. Maybe I can get third. <laughs> Maybe it's Maybelline. Lumen just got super hooked up. Lumen got super hooked up by having uh, various weather to the left. Oh, my pig. All right, what am I doing instead then? Can I take two wooden greed fences? It's two more points to do that. But there's no way. I mean, I can't do it anymore. I can't do it because various weather like has no reason to no longer screw me. So I just got to do it here. All right, we'll lose our point here. We're losing one point for this, no matter what. So we'll we'll just do it. We'll put it right in the middle of our farm, in case we want to build a stone room. We'll just put it right here. We'll just throw this right in the middle here. Have have a nice symmetric farm once we once we get our field. It's gonna look very nice. We're gonna, we're gonna have a house with a fence pasture and fields that also look like a house. It's gonna be very cool. Yeah, this game is not good. <laughs> this game was not good. Was uh, It was not the best game that I've ever played. Uh... <laughs> Man, I wish I could, I wish that I had this clay in my supply, my fishing, oh no, my fishing, my fishing, no, what am I doing, plowing and something else, something that's worth a point, I have many point actions here, I have many point actions, 
What are my point actions? <laughs> Four clay is, is one of my point actions. Four clay, I guess, gives me the best tie break in case that matters. Lumen definitely won this. Various Weather definitely got second. I almost certainly got last. <laughs> I don't, I don't see it. I don't see a way out of this for me. I, I'm looking, I'm like doing the calculations in my head. I'm doing the math. It, it's all not adding up. It's not adding up to me at all. The, the, the math is not working out in my favor. <laughs> it's not working out in my favor at all. That's okay. If only I had gone with Scholar Papermaker. If only I had, I had done Scholar Papermaker stuff, then we had a chance. Kappa. Kappa Kappa Kappa. Uh, yeah, we just have one point actions. We get three more points at least. At least we get three more points here. That's very cool. Very pog. I mean, I have to eat a clay, unfortunately, to to. Uh... Actually, if I take wait wait, if I take four clay, I eat a clay for food. That makes it so that my tie break is exactly the same as if um, I, I didn't have this extra clay in my supply. So taking the four clay is the objectively right move in order to make it so that um, I, I uh, get the right amount of points. It's just objectively the right thing to do. This so ended up being two points for me, which was nice. The so, because of the uh, the thing, the so ended up being two points, which was incredible. What's Rainier thinking about? What's what's the thought about? I guess Rainier's trying to figure out, like, doing some calculus onto some way to get points here. <laughs> it looks like bad calculus to me. It looks it looks like hard math. Because yeah, you can't eat a grain. You can't do that. All right, we got an awk. What's it going to be? That's very sad. <laughs> that's so sad. No, that's so sad. Oh, no, that's so sad. That is so sad. That is the saddest thing that I've ever seen in my life. That, that is incredibly sad. That's so sad. That's really sad. Oh, no, we hate to see it. It's so sad. <laughs> it's so sad. That's really sad. Oh, no, dude. It's probably... Yeah, they, yeah I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. I'm not doing the math. Screw the math. My, my farm looks so nice, though. Look at this nice, like, little house I have on my farm. It's so nice. Look how nice it is. It's so nice. <laughs> no. The house steward, I'm so sad. I'm oh, so sad. Hey, domesticated farmer is actually okay because we got to, uh, what's it called? We got to do stuff. Yeah, friggin' Rainier really screwed me this game. Really got wrecked by that. Very unfortunate. <laughs> Extra people from VW? What the heck is VW? What's VW? I don't know what VW is. Uh, we're gonna, we gotta cook our clay. We have to cook our clay here because we have an extra clay from, from getting it earlier. This is me giving it back. I have to cook the extra clay here. Gotta cook it. So that way, that way the game doesn't give me a win from a glitch. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, I don't, I, I have not been keeping track of home brewer. One VP. Yeah, I have not been keeping track of that at all. I haven't keeping track of it at all. I'm very, I have no clue what my score is going to be. I'm so bad at calculating scores like right in the middle. I'm so, so bad at it. I'm terrible at calculating scores in the middle of it. I know that I'm playing for third. I know that that's the case for sure. I, I absolutely know that's the case. This freaking house steward, dude. House steward's so sad. So sad. So much sadness from this card. Very unfortunate. 
Yeah, screw counting. Counting is lame. Why count when you could just jam? This is a jam stream, not a count stream. Yeah. <laughs> 36, casual 36. Yeah, that's that's about right. Yeah, the counts are all up. For 53, what the heck? 53. What the heck? What the heck? 53. Carriage trip was super annoying. That card was actually very annoying. Uh, Carrot Strip was actually stupidly annoying that game. Yeah, I got dumpstered. <laughs> that makes sense. I mean, honestly, like, it makes sense. I got completely dumped. Like, I, I got so dumpstered by Rainier here. Rainier dumps for me so hard. Like, everything that I was trying to do, like, in terms of taking Reed or taking anything like that, like, Rainier just, like, did all of those things first, and there was just nothing I could do. Like, Rainier did, like, all the things to block me, and, uh, yeah, it, it just it cost me really bad there.